Do you dream of having beautiful long hair like my friend Charlotte? If you do, I'm gonna show you ways that you can grow your hair nice and long without having any breakage done to it. My first tip is that you use a heat protectant. One of these products is just for heat, whereas the other one actually offers protein and moisture in the hair every time you heat style. This is an absolute must. Every time that you wet your hair down, I want you to be using a product to protect it. It's gonna be the only way to keep your hair long and healthy. I recommend that you also use a treatment. Sometimes it's nice to alternate your treatments. This product here has protein and the other one has moisture. They're both building blocks to make healthy hair. When you're trying to grow your hair long, it may seem strange to have to come in for a haircut. However, I want you to book an appointment with your hairstylist four times a year. The reason for that is on the hair, we get split ends. And what a hairstylist can do that I'll show you later is I can trim those ends without them splitting up the hair. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you three ways that you're damaging your hair that you might not even be aware of. Some of the ways that I see women damage their hair are with their handbag, where they'll put their handbag on their shoulder, they'll have their hair underneath, and then they'll rip their hair out. So please make sure, move your hair first, then put your handbag on. Winter months, hair can get stuck in zippers, or when you're being really aggressive with pulling your hair out of your hair elastic. Charlotte had her hair trimmed four months ago. Today, I'm just gonna dust it. And when I'm doing that, I'm gonna first start by layering her hair ever so slightly. Sometimes people are afraid to layer their hair when they're growing it long because they think it's gonna make it look thin. However, what I can do when I'm layering is where there's split ends along these pieces of hair, I can get rid of those split ends without touching the length. The reason why I'm cutting this dry is because when hair is wet, it elongates. So if I cut it then, when it dries, it might be shorter. So by starting the hair in a dry state, I'm gonna get a more accurate length. I've also flat ironed Charlotte's hair. Just like a tailor would iron your pants before they hem them, I wanna make sure that the fabric is nice and even before I cut it, so that I end up with a really accurate haircut. Although it doesn't look like I gave Charlotte much of a haircut, it was just enough to keep her hair growing nice, long, and healthy. Hey, it's Morgan again. If you liked this video, make sure that you've subscribed. I have a new video like this coming to you every week. And while you're at it, share with your friends.